Hey, what's up? I got Vice Media in here, actually. They filming it. <laughs> I'm Eric Martin, and I'm the co-founder of Black & Broad. My name is Mathieu Jost, and I'm CEO and co-founder at Mr. BNB. There was not much information out there about what it would be like to travel to some of these amazing places as a person of color. And so we wanted to set out and create a safe space for Black travelers. So Mr. BNB is the largest LGBTQ travel community. We are offering safe space around the world uh, for people to connect together. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> well, Black and Abroad is a multi-platform travel and lifestyle brand dedicated to enhancing the experiences for Black travelers. You're received differently in different countries depending on who you are and, and your background and obviously, you know, your, your race. We initially started off with a blog and then it just kind of grew legs of its own. We've also started to host group trips. You know, if you're going to a completely foreign destination, it's, it's kind of comforting to know that there's a group of like-minded people that you could meet along the way and, and not only experience the destination, but um, forge new friendships. COVID has changed a lot for us. Obviously, with the trips no longer being a part of the company at, at this point, we're exploring more destinations in 2022. But right now we got to try to see how we can um, profit in other ways. So a couple of ways that we are keeping the company afloat is through the merchandise. Oh yeah, that's good. Look like we in Senegal. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and it's also been small, socially distanced micro events where people can still engage, but obviously in a safe way. So today we're gonna taste all wines from South Africa. Since we can't get to South Africa right now for obvious reasons, we are bringing South Africa or elements of South Africa to the people. <laughs> LGBTQ people are facing some challenges when they're traveling. They are also scared to uh, find a place that will not be welcome to, to them. I traveled with my partner in Barcelona and the host was super surprised that we were two gay guys sleeping in the same bed in the room just next to her. So she felt super uncomfortable as we did. I told my partner that I didn't want to leave that uh, again, and I want everyone in my community to feel safe, and this is why we created Mr. BNB. When you connect on Mr. BNB website or app, you are being able to find uh, different type of accommodation around the world, and we are offering some specific functionalities for you to feel safe, like reviews, like ID verification. The community is made up of uh, every letter of the LGBTQ community, lesbian people, gay, transgender, bisexual, and also straight people. Uh, we have a lot of uh, straight women using Mr. BNB because when they're traveling, they feel uh, totally safe with us. Look what I am super proud of is that CNN called us the gay travel revolution. We believe that our impact on the travel industry is that we were able uh, to create a new market. We didn't tap in something already existing, but we created something brand new, uh, something super specific and exclusive. And also we are offering connection between uh, the LGBTQ community. We believe we were able to uh, make it through COVID because we have a super strong community that is continuing to use the service. And this is what is motivating us. If you see an issue, if you see a problem, instead of complaining about it, you can literally create not just a company, but you can create an entire movement to change it. You know, everything is at your fingertips. Community is at your fingertips. My advice to someone that uh, is willing to create its own business is to never give up. You need to be strong. And if you have something in mind, um, be brave and, and, and do it, make it happen. There's so many ways to connect people. I think our generation is a lot more hands-on and we're unwilling to accept things as they are if we see that they need change. And I think that was one of the main drivers behind Black and Abroad was to create the change that we wanted to see. <laughs>